Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you remember from my Kespen camouflage roller stamp a couple of years ago um, where I used the roller blade to see how it is when you try to uh, hide your personal information when you have a letter or something and you want to mask that information you just put that roller over the actual address, your name and then it masks it. And I did some tests with alcohol wipes and water and it found out that it wasn't really good at what it's supposed to be doing. So I had a message from Lady Nikki 007 on my comment section and uh, she said to me that um, she uses uh, shoe polish to hide the data and it works a lot better than any other um, products out there. So I thought I'd give it a go and uh, I'm using this uh, liquid shoe polish and I'm also going to use this uh, paste as well. So um, without further ado, let's go and have a look at how these compare with the actual stamp itself. So this is for you Lady Nikki. Let's have a look at uh, if this really works. So I'll try the normal shoe polish. It's brand new. Uh, I'm going to use this because um, I've just recently bought this. Okay, so that's not good. Let me just put some more into this. Okay, how is that? The thing is though, one thing I do mention is that if you're going to hide your data and using this sort of mission thing, like, you know, using your fingers like that and then hiding your fingers, that's long. It should be like something quick, quickly available for you to hide your information. So anyway, now if you could see it, once I tab, dab this, um, the ink kind of disappears. Uh, I don't see it on it, so I wait for that to I wait for that to dry, and this part here I'll use the actual liquid shoe, shoe polish, and then wait for it to dry, and then uh, we will uh, hopefully have some decent result regarding this. So I don't know. Let's now I've got this one as well. This is a liquid shoe polish, and I've got my cardboard here because I don't want it to go all the way down towards the the table. So I'm just going to push this down. Right, here we go. We've got some liquid out. That's not good, is it? Because um, with the liquid shoe polish, I could still see the writing. I'll zoom in in a minute for you to guys to have a look. But you need to put like a large amount of shoe polish. And by then, the, the paper's all soggy. So... Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? I don't know. I think I've destroyed the paper because it's just so soggy now. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for it to dry. Because the more I put, the soggier it gets and then I think I might destroy the paper. Let's just close this. Now, if I show you how it is right now, It's still, it's still visible. The text is still visible. So, I mean, the, the, the actual shoe polish, the paste doesn't show. But the liquid shoe polish, it shows. So I'm not sure if, if this dries, if it makes any difference. But let it, let's wait for it to dry. And then uh, we'll see if it actually remains hidden. So this has been kind of it's been drying for roughly 24 hours now i left it overnight and i don't know if you could see see but you could still see the the actual name and address you have to put a really thick layer and even with a thick layer it's still visible with a um with a naked eye with regards to the actual shoe polish itself the paste it looks good to me uh you could hardly see anything but the main test now, let's find out using some water um, and see if that removes any of the... So I've got my cotton buds. Let me zoom in a little bit. Right. Move that aside. So let's take a look. 
to have that here. So I've got my, I want to start here actually. Whoa. All right. Water's not doing anything here. So that's really good. I'm impressed with this. So there's no sign of any blackness on the actual uh, cotton pod itself. The cotton pad is all good. So that's one thing. Let me try the shoe polish. Again, put some water here. And I'm quite pressing hard actually onto this. Fine. This is also good. There is no no way to be able to get that information using water. So that was a successful test. I'm quite happy with that. But unfortunately, I'm just, so this is a clean piece of tissue I've got here right now. I want to see if, uh, okay, so if I rub it, I'm getting blackness on the tissue, but I think if I keep rubbing it, I might be able to see what's beneath the paste. The final test, I have some, let's try the alcohol that I'm going to be using. Like the same alcohol I used last time. Of course, different brand, but still the same thing. So I'm just going to dip it. So with this one, I can't really dip it. I'm just going to have to squirt it. So I'll squirt some here. Right. I'll uh, make both sides wet. Right, okay. So let's try this now. Impressively, it's getting black, but... Oof, the smell of alcohol is so strong. But you know what? Yeah, I think... It's removing it. Let's try this one, this side. This is also getting black, and you have to use a large amount of alcohol to get that visible. Yep, that's completely visible with that. So that's unfortunate. Get some more of the alcohol and try rubbing it here. Okay, so the, t the final result, as you can see, it shows that we are able to remove the shoe polish, the paste, much easier than the liquid, shoe polish liquid, from the uh, paper. So there you have it, folks. It's not bad. I think this works a lot better than this. However, um, this is a, really a messy job. This will cause loads of problems if you start leaking that on your carpet, on your clothes, on your table, that will stain. But it works and you just need to put a good amount of it there anyway. This is a success but it comes with this downside. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please leave a comment, hit that thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next videos. Take it easy guys.